God. How long we been on this one yet? Yeah, Colonizing. All day, man. I got one. We'll, we'll we don't man. need y'all telling us who y'all going to cancel. And don't tell me nothing about he didn't try to boycott uh, Matt Hoffa. Don't, don't tell me that. He is an influencer. I am an influencer. He went on his page where he got over hundreds of thousands of people following him and told them that he is no longer supporting Matt Hoffa. He... Mm. As you can see, China Mac put himself in a strange position with these thighs and mayonnaise, Popeyes, not Chinese restaurant fried chicken. He chose to pick Popeyes, as you can see, which kind of just, you know, it's kind of input. Implementing, indicating, my bad, indicating that black people love fried chicken from Popeyes. We all know that. If you from the United States, you think Popeyes, you think black people. They say watermelon, you know. So for him to respond to Hassan Campbell's reaction while eating Chinese fried chicken... You know, because that seems like it's racist too. And this is not saying Hassan Campbell's right or wrong. And I'm not saying China Mac is right or wrong. Like I'm defending him. But I'm telling you that this situation is just kind of off. Like the thing about me is I just preach to other people that you shouldn't fight hate with hate. You shouldn't fight racism with racism. See, that's the part where the devil comes in. They make you get, the devil will make you angry and have you do the same shit as him. You're angry at him for something that he did, but now you're doing what you was angry towards him about. So now you're fighting racism with racism. You're bringing up the chicken. And Racist? Hell no. Haas is in my, I love Chinese food. China Mac is probably one of the dopest Chinese. And you put in the mayo for the Dyson Campbell because of the shit that he got into with Africa Bambada. And you know, that's not actually something you really want to talk about, about somebody being an Asian rapper in the hip hop culture, because I'm an Asian rapper too. But I know there's certain things that I should just not talk about. Especially about somebody else's way of making money. Why get into somebody's business? If they got kids or not, whatever it is they're doing to make the ends meet, you should never get in the way of it. You can give out your opinion and say, hey, I don't agree with what he did with Troy Ave. I don't agree with what he did, but I'm not going to say it to the whole world, especially when you got hundreds of thousands of viewers watching you and they're going to copy you. You're going to be like, hey, I just closed the doors on him. I'm better than him. It's pretty messed up because now you're trying to decrease his followers because of this one thing that he did as an interviewer to Troy Ave, which Troy Ave has been speaking about this case to everybody for over seven years now now you haven't gotten to you haven't gotten on vlad for any of his stuff you haven't spoke about vlad about any of the things that he did while hip-hop is saying vlad is a culture vulture or he brings up cases now it's up for the per it's up to the person that's getting interviewed to respond now we're not going to talk about that. You can't hate the guy that's interviewing the way he makes, this is how he makes money. You can't hate and knock his hustle for asking a question towards somebody, no matter what it leads to. The other person that's getting interviewed has the, the power, the freedom to say, no, I don't want to answer that. Now we're not going to talk about that. <clears throat> 
there's plenty of artists that were getting interviewed that was like, nah, we're not going to talk about that. You know, it's simple. But Troy Ave decided to respond. So why are you not mad at Troy F for responding and saying, why are you putting yourself in this situation? And even if he did or did not, why are you in their business like that when yeah. they over there trying to make money? You're talking about he don't got an album out. Like, who gives a damn if he got an album or not? You ain't got an album neither right now. These, these shows are getting them paid more than their album. So now that you're knocking that down... You're decreasing their viewers and decreasing their cash flow. And now you're taking their cash flow because now people are watching you speak upon that subject. Some people disagree with you and some people, you know, they're like, oh, you, it's cool. You know, you're not culture vulturing, but it's, that's not the point. It's the point that you're talking down on another man's business because of your own opinion and you're telling the whole all your followers the whole world the whole youtube that i don't fuck with him because this is what he do you're out there telling the world pretty much to not fuck with him and fuck with you because you're not incriminating somebody so who are you to do that who are you to be like, he shouldn't do this and he shouldn't do that to make his money so you can make the money, right? I think it's unfair because even though you're Asian, you're not getting stopped by the police like that. The reason why you got stopped by the police like that is because you put yourself into that situation. You chose to follow Jim and find out where he's at. You are the one that shot his homeboy, L.S., because he was trying to protect Jin. When you were saying Jin was hanging out with people that you had beef with. But you were really trying to get at Jin. And then you told Jada Kiss that you deserve his spot. And then you said you apologized to him on the Jin show when you had an interview with Jin. But you never did. You apologized to Jin that you were sorry about LS. You want to say sorry to LS, but you never said it in front of his face. How come we haven't seen that interview? How come we haven't seen you on the phone or something? Call him up, FaceTime, and say you're sorry. You said sorry to another man about another man. How do we know if that's sincere or not? You see... There's so many other things you could be talking about that's positive or try to get positive, but you're so focused interviewing, talking down on other bloggers that you look like a hater. Yeah, talking hate on YouTube gets you more views, making fun of them, squeezing mayonnaise on chicken and eating it in front of people to make fun of somebody ain't even healthy for you. Physically or mentally. To me, to other people, they're looking at it and they're giggling and laughing, right? But look how disgusting that looks. Like, I don't even want to look at you squeezing mayonnaise, trying to mock and make fun of Hassan Campbell. Even though he's wrong, you're doing the same thing as Hassan Campbell. Can't you see that? Now, if somebody saw your video first, they might think you're doing something else. You're responding, right? But you're doing the same thing as he is now. What you disliked about him, you're doing it yourself. Why would you put yourself out in the YouTube world like that? Why you want to be on camera? That looks even worse than what Hassan Campbell was doing. Hassan Campbell was just eating fried chicken, saying it was good. But you were squeezing mayonnaise on your chicken. I've never seen anybody put mayonnaise on fried chicken just like that. That's disgusting. You did something that was more disgusting than Hassan Campbell, and you ate it. You were trying to say that was Bam's, Bam's mayonnaise. You were trying to make fun of somebody that got, you know, molested. There's a lot of people that have been molested. There's people who got molested in jail. You know what I'm saying? You going to make fun of them? You don't. You just don't make fun of somebody for, you know... They got police officers that you in jail, you they gonna molest you. 
the police officers, they take advantage of, there's a lot of fucked up shit going on that sometimes there's, you have no control over. You weren't there to see what happened. You had the opportunity to do what you was able to do, but the, we know for a fact that the black community don't have too much options. And you have to not, you have to stay neutral, even if you're in hip hop. You just, certain things you don't talk about. What you should talk about is the fucked up things that's happening, but how to fix it. Just not talk down on somebody and have no solution. See, what kind of solution you're giving out to the world? What kind of solution other than telling the world, don't follow him because I'm not fucking with him? He does one little mistake. And you could have called him and talked to him and be like, hey, man, but you wanted to put it out to the world. Why? Because you want to get them views. You want to get them likes. You want to take his viewers, take his customers. And that's some fucked up whole ass shit, man. I think that's some whole ass shit, man. You should never knock on another player's hustle. At least he ain't out there shooting nobody or you know, he ain't robbing nobody. He ain't, he doing this verbally to somebody that's already been talking about it. And don't lie. You had a bunch of lies on your interviews on VLAT. You've lied a couple times. Especially that shit where you was like, I don't want to be Chinese no more. Because I seen 13, 12 Chinese people just let this Asian lady get beat up by a huge black man. And you've seen it on video. But I asked you if there was a video and you never showed it to me. You just disappeared and went back to your thing. You said you didn't want to be Chinese anymore after you just did the Can't Burn Us All. After you just walked and did a marching with the Asian cult community, culture. How'd you do that? You walked with them because you, they were, they were, um, because they were getting beat up. Powerless. You was there to walk for them, like you were going to do something for them. So how could you talk down? What kind of age, 12 Asians that was standing on the side, were they old people? Were they that type to fight? Were they streets like you? That's why I wanted to see that video. What type of people... Were they, were they 90 years old and couldn't fight? You can't just assume all of them are going to be able to stand up to that big-ass black dude that was attacking that Asian lady. That dude was a psycho. He just killed his mother. He was doing jail time for killing his mother and got released not too long ago. This is old, but what I'm saying is you've lied a few times. So that means I don't know how many, we don't know how many other lies you got. Everybody's, you know... I'm not hating on people that do show you love or whatever is cool, but I see other things that they don't. How did you get your fame? You know what I'm saying? You shot at somebody and almost killed them. You said you're going to blow his head off. And he was a rapper trying to come up. Jim was famous. You ruined his rap career. I was hanging out with Jen. I, I was rapping too. I was trying to get it popping. But if I when I was with him that night, where he was the week prior to him getting LS getting shot, LS dropped me off home. That could have been me because we was followed from yellow that night, the week prior to the shooting. That ruined my relationship with Jen. So you not fuck you fucked up three people's, three rap artists' careers. Or 
could have been something different. You fucked it all up just so you could shine. Just so you can prove your masculinity that you's Asian, hardcore, and the black culture. You deserve this shit. There you go. You got it. But now you're still knocking on other people's hustle. Stop knocking on other people's hustle and start putting other people on. Why don't you do that? When have you put in anybody that's really trying to come up? You're using people that's already blown up or got some kind of name. And, you know, you're paying these dudes so you can get validation. That's what you're doing. You fuck with these other artists so you can get validation. But we ain't seen you putting no other Asian artists on that's trying to come up. You only put Jin on the videos because he got a following on your apology. So why don't you just start doing something positive and stop talking negative on somebody else's hustle? Talk about the fucked up shit out in the streets that doesn't highlight to try to track views. You just hopping on the you hopping on you chasing clout. That's what you're doing. Because or else you would be talking about there's a whole lot of other shit, fucked up shit you could be talking about. But that shit don't got a big name. Math Hoffa is a big name because he's getting big right now. You on the blog and shit too. Hassan Campbell's on the blog and shit too. He got a big name. You only want to talk about the big names, but the other smaller people, you don't want to talk about them because they ain't gonna get people don't know them. That's how you know you're a clout chaser. And you're starting to look like a hater, man, because because you're trying to convince other people to not follow Math Hoffa. What kind of shit is that, man? Which you must be tired of counting on math, China Mac. You need to you need to take math class again, man. All right, man. So all peace and love. I hope everybody that's listening to this learns from this. And you can leave your comments and, and put your intake on it, but this is real life shit. China Mac, I got videos that are proven to you that he's not who you think he is. I guarantee you, China Mac, you asked him how many times he lied on VLAD. Shit. All right, John Maya, that's enough of China Mac. We're going to get back to it again sooner or later. Holla at your boy, Screwvo, wisely.